This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a unicorn lock, something you never see. It was sent to me by Wilson in New Hampshire, and I have to say, of the tens of thousands of locks that have passed through my hands, I have never seen anything quite like this Move-In Store brand model MP70. This lock sits at the intersection of bad lock design, bad production tolerances, and a fair bit of bad luck as well. We're going to open it today with this Christmas ornament that I got from Sparrows, but I'm going to let you contemplate for a few minutes how that's going to happen while I explain the two concepts that make the exploit possible. The first is something called a zero lift chamber. And in a zero lift chamber, the top of the key pin is all the way up at the shear line when the lock's in the resting position. The second concept is the opposite and something called a short stack chamber. That's where the top of the driver pin is all the way down at the shear line when the lock's in the resting position. With a short stack, you will generally have very short key pins, and the opposite is obviously true with a zero lift chamber. We have very long key pins. So with those two concepts in mind, let's turn back to our move-in store model MP70. At first inspection, this lock seems fine. It works perfectly, in fact, far smoother than its Chinese-made counterparts, and if we use the wrong key, which I'll simulate by putting the key partway in, you can see it doesn't work at all. Even the bidding on this lock is quite good. We have some high lows in there, which generally make picking just a little bit harder. But it turns out this lock has two short stack chambers in slots two and five, and three zero lift chambers in slots one, three, and four. What that means is that this lock is at shear line when it's at the resting position, and pretty much anything can open this up, including this Christmas ornament from Sparrows. Just that easily, we opened it up. Don't be too impressed with the Sparrows Christmas ornament. We could probably open this up with a stale Dorito. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Wilson, thank you so much for sending this lock my way so I could share it with everyone. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.